Hi friends, Nancy Novak here from Stamp and Shout. Um, coming to you live from Michigan. It's a snowy day here, so I was happy to be able to have a reason to go in my craft room and make some cards. It's been a while since I've been on live with you, so I'm happy to be with you today. And uh, let me show you what, what I've got in store for you. So I uh, started playing with the heart felt stamp set and this is so much fun because it has coordinating punches two punches you guys are going to love this one is a scalloped and one is a, a smooth edge um, heart and they fit inside each other when you stamp them i'm going to show you what i mean but i tell you anytime you can make a card with punches i just love it it's so so easy um, so you're, you're going to love it too um, so i have a couple cards here little Valentine's Day card with some of that pretty paper, the heartfelt paper. And then just a little Amour card. I used a couple other stamp sets with this and the Parisian um, die cuts. I thought that was really pretty. And then a little a goodie, a little goodie holder. So um, let's get started. Let's see, let's make this one first. So get some of the stuff out of the way. Um, I'm actually pulling in this paper because I want you to see it. It's the Heart Felt Paper Pack, designer series paper, and it's so pretty. It's Some of it is foiled, so it has a nice shine to it. And then the other side is coordinating. So this, this red one here is foil. The back side is not. And, oops, sticky. What's cool about this is you can use your heart punches to punch out either the ones that are already shaped or even the ones that are just a small pattern. So anyways, this is really, really gorgeous paper, fun paper. It um, uses the colors Real Red and Flirty Flamingo. So let me just get back where I was. Okay, dokie. So this card here, I have a um, basic uh, Whisper White card base, and I'm using Real Red, and I have a Real Red mat, and I also um, embossed one of the pieces of Whisper White with the subtle um, embossing folder. So it just, of course, is very subtle, but it really, really makes a difference. So first thing I'm going to do is stamp my little hearts. So to do that, I brought in my Stamparatus. And I like to use the Stamparatus whenever you're stamping something that's solid because if for some reason it doesn't come out perfect the first time, you can it's still it's still in the same position and you can just ink it up again and re continue to uh, stamp with it. So I have a scrap here of Whisper White. And I have my uh, Happy Valentine's Day heart stamp right there. And I'm just going to position this where I'm going to be able to get a good image. And I'm going to put my magnets down to hold that in place. And going to bring in some my flirty flamingo ink pad. I'm going to place this one underneath just to give it some support while I'm inking it up. So I can see your comments, but because of the software that I'm using, I can't see your name. It just says Facebook user. So I'm going to say hi to all of you and thank you for your comments. And of course, you can leave questions. And afterwards, when I get off and I go back and look, I can see who who was talking to me. But I can't see it right now. Silly, huh? So I inked that up. I'm just kind of peeking, making sure it's nice and saturated with the polymer stamp. And I'm going to give it a good, good press down. And I like it. 
So I'm going to put my Stamparatus away for now. And I'm going to bring in my Heart Punch. I just need to cut this down a little bit so it'll fit in my Heart Punch. And I'm going to show you a little trick here. Hang on, I'm going to find a little scrap piece of paper. <clears throat> so I'm going to create a little handle so it will fit into my um, punch a little bit better. Because right now I don't really have anything to hang on to to align it. I could probably do it, but I'm going to show you this little trick. So I just attached a little scrap piece of paper. It's a little handle, and I'm going to line it up and punch out that heart. There you go. And then I am going to take one of my other card pieces for the card. It's actually the matte piece. You'll see how this all comes together. And I'm going to punch out another heart using the scalloped punch. And so that won't show, but I'm going to use it in making my card. And then I'm going to put the two of these together like that. Isn't that cool? It's so pretty. I mean, it's endless what you can do with this um, with these punches. I'm going to show you a little bit more as we go along, but so I'm going to glue this little piece to the scalloped heart. that. And then I'm going to make another, stamp another heart. And this one is from my heart to yours. So I'm going to do that in Flirty Flamingo. just have to keep putting my, I keep putting, there it is. I don't put my stuff back in the same place and then I can't find it. Okay, so I'm going to ink up the sentiment. That's Flirty Flamingo. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then also, I'm going to use this stamp right here, which is just an outline stamp. And I'm going to do that in the Flirty Flamingo also. And I'm going to fit it to go right around my sentiment. And these are polymer stamps, so you can see through them. So it kind of makes it easy to position it. So you get a good line up. And then I'm going to punch this out. So again, I have the, the two punches. This one is the smooth heart. Just line it up. And then I'm going to punch another red one. I'll just bring in a scrap of real red cardstock. And then I'm going to attach these two hearts together. Okay, so that's it. We're going to put the front of the card together. So I'm going to take this piece and my piece that I ran through the subtle embossing folder, and I'm going to put these two together. So see, I'm using it as a matte piece, but I also use the center for that heart, and you don't even notice it, because it's going to all go together on my card. So then I'm going to take these two pieces and put them together. If you keep your Stamparatus out, you'll use it more often. It's really easy to use, and uh, it's nice. So, for like especially for solid stamps or sentiments, you know that you don't want to um, have to do over again. 
Um, let's see, I have another piece here, this little strip. It's the opposite side of this paper. And I'm just going to put that about right there. I'm just going to glue that down. I put it near the bottom. Okay. Now I'm going to pop this up with my dimensions. And here they are. So I will put the sizes and everything that I'm using, all the information for making this card on my blog. So you just have to go to www.stampandshout.com and I'll have a picture of the cards and I will tell you uh, the sizes of all of these um, pieces of cardstock. So if you want to make it, you can make it. And if you're getting a shopping list together, you can shop with me. You can go to www.stampandshout.com and there's a Shop Now button. It'll take you to my online store. And if you do shop with me online, there's a place for you to enter a host code. And that's the host code that I'm using right now. Um, if you have any questions, you can always email me at stampandshout at gmail.com. And I'd be happy to help you. So, I'm going to take these two little hearts and just pop them up on our card with dimensions. I think I'll put them both on. I like to kind of put everything like with a dry fit first to see where it's going to go. So, I think I'll put that one about about right there and this one up here and I made a little bow earlier this is the new ribbon that's in the um, in the new mini catalog it's what is this it is the double stitch satin ribbon and it's gorgeous Stampin' Up of course has the best ribbon and paper and stamps <laughs> so I'm just going to put that on with a glue dot You can play with your bow. So those, there you go. So now I'm going to put that on my card base, just like that. You always want to open up your card base. Make sure you're putting it on the right way. Nothing like an upside down card. We've all done that though, haven't we? And that's just going to go right in the center, like that. What do you think? Pretty? Easy, too, with those punches, right? Just stamp and punch, stamp and punch. Stamp and show. Okay, let's do the inside. And what did I do? I did it, I did it in Flirty Flamingo. And this stamp says, love you lots. So I'm just going to stamp it on this white piece. I'm going to angle it this time and see how that looks. And my outline stamp. Uh, I'll do that in Flirty Flamingo too. Oh, look at I got a little smudge there. I'm going to turn that baby over and do that again. Outline stamp. Cool. I love it. I love it. I love it. And then I'm just going to put this on my mat piece. I was bummed I missed my card class with all my my favorite stampers this morning. 
due to the snow. So I thought, well, I'm going to come on and do a Facebook Live for y'all. Keep in mind, if you guys are interested in buying some Stampin' Up! products and you have a big wish list, you might want to get the discount membership, which is $99, and you get to choose $125 worth of products. I'm getting a piece of paper toweling. I got a little smudge of glue here I want to get off. So anyways, the discount membership is $99. You get to choose $125 worth of Stampin' Up! products. You can choose anything you want out of the current catalogs. And um, you also will get the mini, the mini cutter. If I can find it, I'll show it to you. The mini cutter. And this is the mini cutter. So this is free if you sign up during celebration. It comes, it's really cute. It's a little mini cutter. It's really nice, it comes in handy. It's nice to take, you know, if you go on vacation, or for me, I take it to my card classes so I don't have to take my big cutter. And then you also get a sampling of DSP paper. I don't know if I have that with me. Oh, yes, I do. So you get the six by six, all these beautiful papers, which is a, like about three or four of each of the pretty designer series papers that are in the um, the mini catalog. Look at the golf paper. You got the little pretty birthday paper, balloons. There's the um, dress to impress paper, the lagoon paper, Pretty Poppies paper, and the Lily lily pad paper. So that is when you sign up for $99. So if you're interested in knowing more, more about that, let me know. So these are the two cards. The only difference is, and it's very subtle, is this outline I did in real red, just because, don't know why. And then this one I did them both in flirty flamingo. So there you go. Okay, easy, easy right? So, let's jump over to this card. Now this would be great for a wedding card. You can change up the colors. And then inside, um, we have so many nice stamps. Congratulations, best wishes for a wedding card. Just change it up to the colors you like. Um, or it could be an anniversary card or a Valentine's Day card. So, with this, I used the Parisian Beauty Sentiment, this sentiment right here. And I also used this stamp set here, Dress to Impress. I used the little flower stamp. So I'm pretty sure that that stamp gets missed when you look at this stamp set because everyone's looking at the perfume bottle and the shoes and the lipstick. But the cute little flower, you can use that on any card. Birthday cards, right? A get well card. You name it. So you got to be aware of those cute little tiny stamps that are just hiding from you, right? So. Let's see, what am I doing on this? So what I did on this was, I actually took a scrap of Whisper White and I punched out two of the hearts. And then I'm gonna bring, bring in a scrap piece of paper and I'm gonna punch the pretty little sentiments, the lines through that, and I'm going to use the memento ink and the stamp from the Parisian Beauty right there. So here's the little stamp, it's a rubber stamp. So I'm going to see which way the sentiment is going. upside down sentiment even though it's really tiny you can actually read the words so I'm gonna stamp at the top of the heart I'm gonna have to stamp the heart twice and then stamp it again lower and I'm gonna do the other one
Okay. Then I've got a, a red card base. So this one's opening up this way. I think I can get this out of the way for now. And then I have a piece of Whisper White. So what I did was when on, on one of them, I'm going to find my flower stamp. Oh, here it is. Oh. So I'm using the Memento again for the, out. it's an outline stamp. So I've got one little heart here. And on this one, I'm just going to stamp the flowers in the bottom right. It can be a little bit off the edge of the heart if you want. So that one is done. And then for this one, I took my white piece. I'll, put, I'll keep the red there so you can see what I'm doing. And then I kind of laid that one down there and just kind of positioned where I think I want the hearts to go when I'm all done. And then I ink that flower stamp up again. I want to go up a little higher because I want to make sure I have room for my sentiment at the bottom. So I took that little heart, that little flower stamp, and I stamped part of the flower on the heart and part of it on the front of the card. Okay. And then I stamped again next to that one, just anywhere, anywhere you want on the card base. Okay, sticky fingers. And then I brought in my markers. Cover that ink pad up. So I have a Stampin' Blend in the light real red, and I also have a light mossy meadow. And I just colored in the flowers and the leaves. Nothing fancy for this. I didn't do any fancy shading or anything. I just colored in that flower with this pretty red. Colored the leaves in. this one in too. So if you're just tuning in, I was saying earlier that because of the software that I use for my Facebook Live, I can see your comments but I can't see your name. So I don't know who's saying what unless you say, hey, this is Dawn or whoever. But I will see the names later when I look at it. It is listed when I go back and look at my video. So if you have questions, go ahead and leave me a question and I'll be sure to answer you. Okay, so now what I also did on this was I took the, um, this is a detailed trio punch, has three different punches on it that you can do for the corner of your card. And I rounded the edge, the edges of my card. Just gotta make sure you got it in there nice and even. So then 
I attached to this. Or you can put your hearts together on front first, doesn't matter. And then I'm going to pop up these uh, with dimensions. put this one down first because this one has to align up with that one. So I took the backing off and just lined it up. And then put this one on. I kind of just overlapped it a little bit. Oh, it's so pretty. Very, very pretty. And then I took my Parisian dies, which is this set right here. It's got all the cutouts for the Eiffel Tower, it has the word Amour and Merci, and then it's got these pretty little design pieces. So I ran this through the, my Big Shot earlier. And just I'm gonna punch it out. I didn't wanna bring the Big Shot on camera thought I'd save a little bit of time but so I did run it through earlier and now I'm just gonna loosen it up there make sure all the little pieces are out of the A and everything so it's not blocked and I'm gonna add a little bit of glue sticky fingers again. So I'm just going to dab the glue on here and there. So you do have time to order this set if you want to make some Valentine's Day cards. And I definitely would get the punches because you will use them a lot. That's it. Not pretty. Easy, easy guys. Okay, we're gonna do the inside. So again, I have my Whisper White and I'm gonna round the corners just because. So I'm just making sure it's in the punch all the way. There's little guide markers there. Let's see that one. I didn't do that one. And for the inside, I brought in that script sentiment and I put that in there. So you can put obviously whatever you like. I'm going to read this to you. It's gushy, but I figure it's so tiny that. I'm going to give it to my husband, but he's going to say it's so small he can't read it. But if you can't be ushy gushy lovey dovey with your husband, who can you be with? It says, I love, I don't know if I believe all of this, but it's still sweet. I love you till my heart could burst. It's hard to read, it's so tiny. Let's see. All I love and I want and need is you forever. Without you, dearest dear, I could not see or feel or hear or think or live. I don't know about that last line. That's kind of goofy, but anyways, it's pretty. It's pretty in there. I'm going to go for the pretty rather than what it says, but I cannot see or hear or feel. Oh, silly. I mean, yeah, I love you to death, honey bunny, but okay, let's make sure I have it going the right way. I could put it in there upside down. That'd be funny, wouldn't it? <laughs> I'll think about that. OK, 
Okay. It's really, really pretty font. So it it's nice for a Valentine's Day card. <laughs> I keep laughing about that, that sentiment. close it. There you go. What do you think? Pretty. I love this one. I just think it's really just gorgeous, simple and pretty. Okay, on to the next one. So this is just really simple. I just wanted to show you these little tins. Sampin' Up sells, sells these in the, mini in the new mini catalog and you get 10 of them. They come in this box. They're the heart foil tins. So they come, there's 10 of them. They come with the little bottom and the top. You can actually bake in these or add a cookie or add candies, okay? So to decorate, I have another one here. So I put some red kisses in that one. So there's the plain top. And what's also available are these cute heart doilies. And you get, I don't know how many are in here, 40, 40 heart doilies. And they're in the real red, or they're in the flirty flamingo, or you can turn them over and use the white. So let me show you a couple of different ways of doing that. So. Doily fits perfectly on here. So there's the white side. And earlier I punched a heart with the scallop and I stamped Love You Lots in white and punched it out with the smooth heart punch. And you could lay it on there just like that. So that's using the white. Or I'm gonna use the red one. And I'm gonna bring in some of that designer series paper. And that's what I did on this one. You can see I used the Flirty Flamingo doily. I punched a white scallop and I punched out of the pretty designer series paper a heart and then I just added a, a pretty bow. This one, I want to show you how you can punch out. Hang on, I've got a mess here. So, so what you want to do is, if I wanted to punch this heart, if I want to punch out that heart right there, my punch isn't going to fit. It's not going to line up correctly. So what I did was I cut about a three-quarter inch strip off the bottom. And I'm going to save that, and I can use that on another card. So it's not going to go to waste. So now I've made this card, or this heart, available. <laughs> so I can punch it out. So let me get on camera here. So I'm just gonna line that pretty heart up inside that punch. I gotta see I'm off angle. Punch it out. And then I'm gonna attach it to that doily. And the, using the designer series paper, it's nice for a generic Valentine to give to somebody, you know, like a coworker or, you know, neighbors or something like that. It doesn't have to say love you or it doesn't even have to say happy Valentine's Day. It's just letting them know that you're thinking about them. Then I'm going to take my glue dots and I'm going to put a few on the back of my doily. And that's how I'm going to attach it to the lid of that heart, that tin. Okay, so I got three of them on there. Just lay it right in there. 
It fits perfect. Isn't that cute? Look at that. So that's these. I, I, these are really fun, fun ways to give um, your your little treats, your Valentine treats out. Like I said, you can bake a cupcake and put it in there and even frost it. So there you go. Done. Wait, I want to say hi. Lost my chair here. Okay, well, thanks. I hope you enjoyed the cards. If you have any questions, make sure you either uh, write them down here in the comments or you can email me. And those of you who know me can call me. Um, if you're interested in shopping, I showed you where to go. It's www.stampandshout.com. And if you shop online, you can use the host code. And I think that's it. Until next time, I'm going to stay busy. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys, I'm unemployed. And uh, so I should be able to get in here more often, hopefully, and um, in between looking for a new job and uh, do some more stamping with you. So stay tuned. Um, share my video if you feel like if you know someone who's interested in stamping and um, have a great rest of your weekend. Bye.